welcome, 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 welcome. Good night and welcome to another night of our Bible study. <coughs> Amen. As you join, go ahead and share. May the Lord bless you. Mm -hmm. May the Lord open those doors in your life. All you got to do, just believe. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good night. Welcome to the El Shaddai crew. Welcome, welcome. May the Lord bless you. Go ahead and share as you join. Welcome. Good night. Good night. Good night. And welcome. Kingston, Jamaica, welcome. East Hartford, Connecticut, welcome. Trinidad, we welcome you. Go ahead and share as you join. May the Lord touch you tonight in a special way. Yes, welcome, welcome. We miss you too. Amen. As you enter the room, I encourage you to share this message. Go ahead and share. Amen. It is well. It, it is well. <coughs> yeah, go ahead and share. Share with your friends, the people that you love and care for. Amen. Hallelujah. <coughs> yes, you're with your friends and your loved ones. Good night. 
Amen. God, how are you? I am blessed, Pastor. God bless you. Good night. You can take over. Go ahead. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good night, Pastor Ratigan. Amen. Good night. Good night, each and every one. Blessings, blessings, kingdom blessings to all my sisters and brothers. El Shaddai prayer tower members new members online we welcome you all amen we give god thanks and praise for each and every person in jesus name amen god bless you all first time i'm not seeing you <laughs> I'm not seeing this part. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here. I'm here. I'm right here. Okay. I'm right here. Go ahead. Amen. I'm right here. I'm right here. So it is Thursday night. And yes. That's okay. Go ahead. Amen. Well, it's Thursday night and it's Bible study night. Amen. Amen. We are here to study the word of God. Because we need the word. We need the word of God, especially in this time and in this season mm-hmm. that we are living in. If we don't have the word, we are going to get into a lot of trouble, <laughs> a lot of problems. Because you see, when you don't have the word, then you have something else. So if you don't have the word, then it's something else. That you have. That you you welcome in your life. Amen. 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 So we need the word and that's the reason why God gave these men inspiration to write the Bible because we need it. It is our guide. It is to teach us how to live daily. It is our guide, you know, to navigate because when a person is not living from the word, you notice everything else is of the world. And the Bible also tells us that even though we are born in the world, we are not a part of the world. Amen. So as children of God, as Christians, as saints, kingdom people, we are not supposed to be a part of the world. So when we are acting worldly, that tells us that we are not living by the word. Mm-hmm. Because when you are living by the word, something must change. Something must look different. Something must sound different. Your fruit. That's your fruit. The words of your lips is the fruit. Your fruit. So you're going to be here. Your lips are the words that you speak. You bear fruit. Because the Bible tells us that by their fruit you shall you know them. Know them. Amen. So we have to dig in the word, especially now, because, you know, it's it's not, it's like, it's what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. Everything 
they're trying to, to to twist up and change everything so you know even for our children and grandchildren and great great grandchildren to come you know we have to implement the word of god in them because they are trying to do everything to change and to manipulate the word of God. Even with the season that we are in now, we know that coming up, growing up, you always hear people say, Merry Christmas. Now, they change it. They don't want to say Christ. They say happy, happy holidays. holidays. These are the little nuggets. These are the little things. Right? People would say, you give something to somebody, right? They would say, um, thank you. God bless you. Now, they take off God. They say, bless you. Who is blessing you? If God is not blessing you, then somebody else is blessing you. So who is it that is blessing you? These are the little things that we have to watch and listen for. Because when a person is afraid to say Jesus, when a person is afraid to say, to acknowledge the Father and said, God bless you, that tells you something. Amen. 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 So in this time and in this season, we have to be very careful because you see the thing is, a lot of us, the devil now use nothing big, some small things, some little things that you will never think that he would use. That's what he's using. Especially when it come on to believers. So believers have to be very careful in this time. And the only thing, the only help is from Jesus, the Holy Ghost, from our Father. Mm. Because if you're not turn into him then you're turning to something else amen so kingdom people we have to study the word there is gonna come a time i know you must hear me say this over and over it's gonna come a time when we won't be so prevalent to walk around with this. We won't be. We have to go hide. So if you. Not start. Study and read it. And ask the Holy Ghost. To hide the word. In your heart. When warfare come. How are you going to stand? How are you going to fight? You cannot fight with your words. You only can use the word of God. God. Have you ever got a vision or a dream and you're in it and you're worrying? And everything coming from your mouth is scripture after scripture after scripture <laughs> after scripture. And every time when you when you when your boss are shot, because that a, a holy ghost, a holy ghost gunshot your boss. Amen. And every time when your boss it, you see enemy of a god on. And every time when your boss you see him of a god on, because guess what? You're using the word. But if you don't know the word. The enemy overpower you. Amen. So we have to study the word. Amen. The word is very, very important and it is necessary. 
especially now. You see, nowhere they're coming with so much, much um technology, and technology is 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 moving away. People is moving away from the the Bible and moving away from the things of God because of the technology. So we have to be very careful because the Bible said, "Be not deceived by the devil's devices." What are the devil's devices? Technology. Amen. So we have to be very careful. You know, Pastor, we have to be careful. You know, it is good and and, and nice when you have your phone can use because your phone, <laughs> you, you just go like this one, two, and you find where you look for and all of that. But you still have to know. Yep. Because you know you have. Let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit is amazing. You know, um, months ago I got this vision, and I thought um, it was for me, and it was not. And you know what me know? But two days ago. And this happened months ago. And in the midst of me asking the person a question, then after the Holy Spirit let me know, this is who the, the, the vision was for. Amen. Let me tell you something. You have believers out there. Tell me, let me tell you, they empty like water buckle. They empty way like, you know, growing up in Jamaica, we have some stick, you call them chichi, for catch fire. Let me tell you something, they are like chichi, as you blow upon them, they, they sh dry. Dry. Let me tell you, them no, them no know nothing when it comes to the word of God. Them so worldly. Everything, they behave just the same as the world, the people them out here. So you can't tell the difference. And let me tell Amen. you, for the Holy Spirit, sweet, tell me if you ask a question. And when I ask a question, I was like, really? There was something really happened. Amen. In this time, yep. So, saints, kingdom people, children of God, <laughs> I am pleading. We have to start reading the word of God. Amen. And so, because guess what? Remember, we trickle from my head, fall down on his shoulder. Yep. And if the head no have nothing, that means the two hand and the shoulder and the foot and everything no go have nothing. And if a you are the head in the house because you have a lot of women, they are the head because there is no man in the house. So if you have to be that one where you have to stand firm and pick up the word and start read it, you have to. Because when warfare come, nobody thinks, say, you know, can't get pastor all the time on the phone. If you say, pastor, <laughs> somebody are knock on my door, pastor. Pastor have problem too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pastor, you know, yes. a lot of times people think Pastor don't have no, no, Pastor mm -hmm. not going through nothing. Mm -hmm. But who you think shoulder all the like burden of the church? The pastor. <laughs> Mighty God. Mm. Oh, Amen. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My sisters and brothers, I am pleading with you this evening. But before we go any further, we're going to pray. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Most rightful and heavenly Father, as we come before you tonight, God, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor and the praises because it belongs to you and you alone. Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you in our midst. We welcome you to take over, to breathe upon us tonight, to over over us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh upon us tonight, oh God. Equip us tonight, God. Feel Fill us up in the name of Jesus, Lord. We cover our head. We cover ourselves. We cover our homes. We cover our family with the blood tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we repent of our sins tonight, God. Forgive us of our trespasses, God. Help us to forgive those that trespass against us. Help us not to hold on to grudge and unforgiveness and bitterness. Mighty God, we ask of you tonight. Oh God, to take over, mighty God. Have your way on tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, as we open up our mouth tonight, we pray that you will fill it up in the name of Jesus with your words. Mighty God, not our words, God, but your words tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your people be blessed let your people be edified. Father, let you be glorified and the devil be terrified. Mighty God, we thank you tonight, God. We thank you for open doors. We thank you for blessings. We thank you for favors. We thank you for healing and deliverance, mighty God. Tonight, oh God, we ask of you, Lord, to comfort those that are mourning tonight, mighty God. Let them find rest in you, O oh God. Let them find peace in you, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, comfort them, Holy Ghost. Uh, cover them under your blood tonight. Hide them in your secret pavilion and give your angels charge over them tonight, mighty God. Father, we give you thanks and praise tonight for El Shaddai prayer to our mighty God. We thank you tonight, O oh God, for your servant, mighty God. Father, for Oh God, we pray tonight. Oh God, that you elevate her tonight. Fill her up, mighty God. Breathe upon her afresh and cover her, my God. Build a wall of fire around her, mighty God. Lord, remember her family tonight. Remember her children, God. Wherever they are tonight, God, cover them. Hide them in your secret pavilion. Remember her grandchildren, Father. Lord God, we pray for that family member that is on life support tonight, God. We pray, mighty God, that you will come true. Father, the Bible said that whose report do you believe? We believe your report, mighty God. We know that you are the bombing Gilead. We know that you are the healing God and you are still in the healing business. And so God, tonight we pray for those that are sick, God. Come true for them tonight. Father, we pray, oh God, for doors to open up in the lives of your people tonight. Father, touch tonight, God. Remember the Bible backsliders. Reclaim them tonight, God. Remember your prodigal sons, wherever they are tonight. Father, let them run back home in the name of Jesus. Father, we cover the territories. We cover the atmosphere. We cover, oh God, right now, in the name of Jesus. This life, mighty God, have your way, oh God. Lord, I cover myself under your blood. I cover my children, God, my grandchildren under your blood. Hide my family, mighty God. And Father, wherever they are tonight, I pray, mighty God, that you show up. I pray, God, that you deliver them and set them free, God. Loose them from bondage, mighty God, we pray tonight. And we ask these things in no other name, but in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we call it done in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So for those that are just joining in, we are in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapters five, verses six, reading 
So we're going to read from chapters 5, verses 6. Amen. Amen. And it reads, And Seth lived an hundred and five years and begot Enosh. Amen. Seven Amen. says, And Seth lived after he begot Enosh eight hundred and seven years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were nine hundred and twelve years and he died. Amen. So here we see we are, we are reading about the descendant of Seth. So we know that Seth is the third son for Adam and Eve, right? So Seth is the replacement for Abel. Amen? Amen. We know that Cain killed Abel and so um we see where adam and eve they had a third son well we know they have other children but this one in particular the bible tells us about we know his name his name is seth the meaning of his name let me find it the meaning of set name is appointed or place. Set was the replacement for Abel, who was murdered by his brother Cain. So now we see um, set is a replacement for Abel, right? And now we are seeing where set now have a son. And his name is Enosh. Enosh um, names mean mortal man. So I have a question. Yes, Pastor. The Bible said, set mean appointed or place. Our place. That mean if he was the replacement for Abel, Abel. Mm -hmm. it mean that Adam was in the spirit with his wife. Because it's godly. Right. The name, the name, meaning that they were doing things in order. In order. Mm -hmm. That's my question. So, um, we know that um, at one point, we know they sinned and they were kicked out of the Garden of, of Eden. Eden yes. We know that at one point, when you read, you see where we know they weren't worshipping. They weren't being obedient. They did not repent. We know that because we read it. Right. But maybe some way down the line after Abel died, something shifted, something changed. Because, you know, when you read the story of Adam and Eve, and you see when the Holy Spirit give you some little nuggets or give you some revelations or show mm -hmm. you some things right you know it's it 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 these things happen to even us where we we are stubborn disobedient we sin against god we get chances we still no repent we still sin we still go back and do the same thing. Yeah. Still no turn. Still stubborn. God Amen. still your chances. But there comes a time when you really have to turn. And you say, Lord, forgive me. So maybe at that point, you know, because remember, 
when God gave the prophetic word, Eve, even though she sinned and sinned against God and was kicked out of the Garden of Eden, in the back of Eve's mind, Eve was still thinking that she was, was going to be the one who was going to bring the promised seed. Amen. So when Abel died, first she thought it was Cain. But when in, it not happened with Cain. In life. Not, yeah, huh? in, in life and in every family, the first set always think they they are the chosen one she thought it was Cain mm -hmm. you know so only God God have the final word yes in everything about us it doesn't matter who tell us what the final word is from God not man Amen. it doesn't matter what we think whether we think negative or positive, God knows our beginning and he knows our end. Amen. 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 Go ahead. Just like you said, in every family. In every family. In every family. Not and some. Not in, even every family. ungodly family. Yeah. Even people who don't believe in God are always have that thing about them that the promised child came from their loins mm -hmm. yeah. so it's not just it's not just look at look at the prodigal son wasn't it the younger one that took everything and left yes because <laughs> mm-hmm and the older one was there working and everything and humble yeah so we need to pay attention god's doing is not man's doing it's not the way the child look even what's his name jesse david's father thought his older children were the chosen ones oh yes so it's in every family Every family. Sometimes we do this because of how they look, how they behave. Mm -hmm. But it's in every family. And so I can wrote... testify to that. Because the one that I thought that was not going to even come close to God is the one that is now speaking to me from God from God so no I cannot call him boy anymore I have to call him mister because he married man of God and he's in Christ <laughs> so I have to give him his respect it's true <laughs> Amen. It's, it's true, true. it's true you know and he will yeah. say to me mommy I am not no play play Christian I'm ah, very serious right. so you know they have this saying that the Vile the person, the hotter the blood. So when you were sold out for Satan and Satan have your full time and you turn your life around, this is why you know when some people are not serious about God. The things that they allow to continue in their life. If you're really serious about God, you don't entertain sin and sinful behavior. You might be living a clean life, but the things that you entertain, it says a lot about your inner man. Amen. You're not saved. You cannot let nothing slide. You mm. cannot be a believer sometime. Yeah. And 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 during holidays, you 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 worldly and your flesh because a holiday, you say you take a break. There is no holiday from God. No. Some people die on holiday. It's true. Go ahead. I don't want to. Aye, aye, aye. But it is it is true though, because we're talking about Eve thinking yes. that she she was the one that will do bring the, the promise seed. Exactly. So 
when Cain came, she thought it was Cain. It was Cain. But God had a different plan because them people, different they never plan. write. Them and you know what too, write. Pastor? You know what too? We, as parents, mothers, fathers, when you have your child, your children, you can tell. Of course. So <laughs> Eve must have seen something in Cain to say, oh no, I know him again. Right? <laughs> Abel come, even though they say they are twins. But she must see something. Yeah, that she don't see the difference because, with the two of them. But even in identical twins, they are different. They have a lot different. of difference about them. So she know the difference. So Isa when and Cain, Jacob, two different people. They are two different. They belong to two different tribe. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. One was at and even Gina. the next two. What's the next two name that came from T Tamar, the prostitute? Yeah, that is um, uh, that one of the one of the one of the children of uh, one of Jacob boy. Judah, 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 two. Judah. Yeah. That's where Jesus Judah came two, from. Two, two, That's where um, Jesus came from. Yeah. Yes. Out of prostitution. Mm -hmm. Again. Way before it get down to Boaz and, and, and Ruth. Right. So Jesus didn't really come from a good place. And the Bible wants us to study and don't judge. Don't judge. People. Yeah. Some people are from prominent families that are wealthy, upstanding believers. And yet, Every one of them commit murder secretly because some people have people working for them. Oh, God, forgive me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some people have people working for them and when they misbehave, they kill them mm -hmm. and bury them themselves. And it's that makes them murderer. It's true. So a lot of people, wealthy people, are murderers. I remember last year, the Holy Spirit told me to tell my son there was a man that he was working for to tell that man, do not lay a hand for nobody else that worked for him. Wow. Right? And I'm yet to wonder if he had received the message. I'm home one day, the out of the blues, the Holy Spirit said, tell your son to tell that man that he used to work for, do not lick no more and work as them. Wow. And I'm like, why God I give me this kind of message to give them the people? Yeah. So, God, God, it is well. Because we just have to be obedient. That is it. We so just have we, to be obedient. Yeah, so here we see we are now set come along. And so if, you, God, if, you, if you listen to the names, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Names tell you, of course, right? And the Bible also, Jackie, we see you. And the Bible also tell us that, right? When these men come along, because right here, um, let me see which one is it. Twenty six. In um, chapter 4, verses 26, it says, And to set to him also, there was born a son, and he mm -hmm. called his name Enosh. So you see, when Seth come along, his son come along, these people start worshipping God and praising God in a different way. Of course. Calling upon the name of God. <laughs> If, <laughs> right? if anyone watching, whether you're going to see this afterwards or you're currently watching and you're not saved, I would encourage you to start reading the word of God and listening to gospel music. You don't have to watch anybody broadcast. No. If you're watching this, and you are not saved, I'm encouraging you, start reading your Bible and start listening to gospel music and you would be 
you would be so surprised how the devil have to flee because by you taking in the, the, God, the music, because the music is the word of God and you're reading it, I'm telling you, you'll be armed and dangerous. Jesus. You'll be armed and dangerous. So I'm just inviting you. Some of you don't like to go on social media to follow anybody. But this is just something I'm inviting you to try. Start reading the Bible and start listening to gospel music. You don't have to go on any body platform to watch anything, to feel God. Yeah. You can feel the presence of God by yourself. Just listening to the Read music the and reading the word of God. Mm -hmm. And you confuse your enemy in a minute. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's true. Amen. Amen. So <laughs> here we see, we see Adam, descendants. Now we are seeing Seth descendant right so we are reading about seth and the bible is telling us that and seth live after he begot he father enosh mm -hmm. 807 years and begot a son and begot sons and daughters because remember god told adam and eve that they are supposed to go and multiply. So, um, you know, a lot of people that don't really read the Bible, they just read maybe a couple of scriptures or they know a couple of scriptures where they hear about. They will come and they will try to challenge you. And they are the ones who are quick to say, but who Kian mar uh, married to? And who such and such? And who this one married to? But we see that back then God allow these things to happen. These things to because happen because he was building up a nation. Right. This is how the earth was going to be filled with people. Right. So we see it starts. It's still happening. It's still happening. Even <laughs> though the the word, the Bible said it is not supposed to happen. You have mm -hmm. places in Jamaica where you go and this thing is happening. Still Even happening. now as it's we speak. out of ignorance because they don't understand the word of God. Jacob was married to his cousins. To his cousin. Abraham mm -hmm. was married to his sister. Amen. So God allow all these things. He permitted it because he was building up. And this is why it's religion. People who practice this, who married other people in the bloodline, it's religion. Yes. And culture. Because this is what even the, the, the royals do. Yeah, it's religion and culture. And that's why when they, they, they when you see they go out, anyone go out of it to marry somebody, it cause such a big stir. They try to kill them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they want to keep it in the family. In the family. Yes. Yeah. But to God be the glory. We are seeing that Seth now. And his son Enosh. And we are seeing but that. I have a problem. Don't move. In mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 4. Yeah. Cain start having children. Mm -hmm. And that's in Cain bloodline. One of them married to a woman. Right. So this again. It was happening elsewhere. Yes. Because Cain, Cain after married to one and sister. I'm not talking about Cain. I'm talking about Cain did not marry two women. 
The Bible says. Oh, you mean Lamech? Uh, yes. And he threatened them. Yes. So these people were bad people. <laughs> Remember no pastor. Sin <laughs> enter the day that they turn away from God. Right? So no. Because remember now, you know, the, the, the serpent beguiled them and tell them, oh, God say if you eat this, you're going to die, you're not going to die. Right? Tell them lie. Tell Eve lie. And so you Eve... see how easy it is for some people who say that they are believers to allow some like a serpent yeah. to enter their life when the Bible tells us that we shouldn't take advice from, from ungodly. ungodly people and the thing is those are the people we are quick to take advice from why the next thing married people keep on your business to own yourself and god why are you out. going to bring what you're going through to a, to a person single that person is ungodly who's and a outside person of is... Christ. You know, that's the thing where me always not understand. Oh, can you say you are a believer? You're taking advice person, and ungodly, not even advice, ungodly counsel. So it's person, called counsel. The person we are taking counseling from is not oh, godly. Oh, the word. Don't know the word of That's God. That's a shame. And this is the if, person you are taking. If you from. know how powerful you are in the kingdom of God, you would not listen or sit there and allow one ungodly person to true to you, to tell you what to do, mm -hmm. to give you instruction when they are on their journey living their life to please Satan. And as a believer, I feel sorry for some people who are taking advice from friends and relatives and these people are not godly. I feel bad for them. Yeah. 90% of the time, it's the flesh. It is. Because it's not of God. Mm -mm. They're not going to give you any advice to benefit you in the future. No. It's short term. Yeah. It's not. Yep. And yet, you know the thing is, you who would have give them a better advice? Because you would have to go to you. God. You know, the other day I'm here by myself, and the Lord just began to speak to me. And one of the things God said, He said, "What I'm doing, He admire it because I'm not going live unless He give me a word." Amen. But he said to me, look at Daniel. Daniel had a gift. And the gift was to interpret dreams. And vision. But Daniel did not interpret the king's dream. Daniel said, wait, I'm going to pray. Mm -hmm. And hear what God has to tell me to give to you. And Daniel went to the Lord. Yeah. I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but this is what the Lord revealed to me. He said, Daniel did not give out any information. So he didn't use his gift. He went to seek wisdom from God. Mm. He could have answered. Yeah. Because he had because the gift to gift. answer. Yeah. Yes. He was, he was anointed to... to, to to, to interpret but what he did he did not rely on his gift he went to oh, God, God to hear what God wanted him to say yeah. to their old king and then he didn't do it the same day he waited so we need to be patient yeah this is what, the, I don't know why, but this is what the Lord revealed to me because truth, truth be told, 
I really don't have nothing to say if God is not talking to me. Yeah. I don't rely on what I already know. I want God to speak to us. Yes. So we don't come relying on our spiritual gifts to minister to God's people. We need to go to him in prayer and fasting. Amen. And then when it's time for us to speak, the Holy Spirit will speak through Amen. us because we are not coming with just the flesh. If we are relying on our gift, it's flesh. It's true. Because you can't use the gift even if you're not in the spirit. Mm -hmm. It's already given to you. Yes. Paul said, when we came, we didn't just come to you with the gospel. Mm. We come with power. We uh, come with yeah. the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just the word. Mm -mm. We come also with power and power. the Holy Spirit. So when God gave me this revelation about Daniel, all I did, I just rejoice. Yes. Because if God don't give me a word. You know, with that said, I can tell you, I can sit here and I can tell you, people of God, kingdom people, saints, you see, if God don't permit you to go, you see, if God don't say, open up your mouth, keep it shut. Let me tell you, a lot of times we get in trouble because guess what? A, 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 a word came, mm -hmm. right? Prophecy came. Mm -hmm. Prophecy upon top of prophecy. Okay. God call you to be a pastor. God call you to be a prophet. God call you to be an intercessor. God call you to be an apostle. God call you to do this. God call. And no. This is you now. <laughs> Chess up. That a pride. No. Nobody can talk to you now because God say. This is what God say about me now. Me no. So guess what now? When pastor talk, I will pastor talk to. Because guess what? Me have a calling over my life, you know. So guess what now? You know, but I want to sit down and wait. No. Listen. No. I am talking from experience. Amen. Because guess what? You see, when you know, start get up in a fear of flesh and I say, oh yes, this is where God called me for doing a night, me for do this and me, me can do this. You hear what you say? Me can do it. I can do it. So now, you know, start do this and you start do that and you think say, yeah, I work for God. But you don't know what happened? You're working for the devil. The devil beat you upside down. Start wear and tear out your body. You wake up in the morning and you can't come off of your bed because you are under pain. Because guess what? You start going out places where God is saying you're going. No? Yes. But because you get a word. Say God call you for do this. And God call you for that. Do mm -hmm. you know that the devil... Having people then where we set you up, of we come course. and tell you, say, oh, don't make nobody talk to you and tell you this. God <sighs> call you for now and I know. And guess mm. what? You see, when you go ahead and take the button from God <laughs> and run down left him, hey. you know who oh, they want to run away from you? Satan and in gang. Satan and in demons. Mm -hmm. And he just beat you up. And you see, when you're done, who you have to come and call to a ball to? The same Father, person you think you're Jesus. about. Father, help me, Jesus. Help me, Holy Ghost. The same pastor where you keep to a girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pastor, me in a pain. Yeah. Let me tell you. Yeah. The Bible says, lay your hand on no man suddenly. Mm -mm. 
Let me mm -hmm. tell you something. Mm -hmm. A whole mm -hmm. power of touch. Me did mm -hmm. have this thing. I guess what? Me name what that the part there, Bible. Really? And guess what? As soon as they say praying, see me? I'll check out my <laughs> Listen. Anyway, my lady, and let me tell you something. That's why it's it, 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 no. it no. I am telling you this thing. Mm -hmm. I may be laughing, but this is serious. You have some wicked spirit, wicked demon. Then jump on you. And so when they jump on you, only God himself can get them off of you. <laughs> you understand? What did Jesus say to Peter? Let me see if I can find the scripture. Peter, the devil wants to see if you like wheat. Wheat. I was talking about both in church Sunday. But I will but I have but I have prayed for you. For you. you. Let mm -hmm. me tell you, mm -hmm. we have to be patient. You see, if patient wasn't something where God wants us to do, it wouldn't be in our Bible so much time. He wouldn't tell us if you wait. We have to wait upon God. There's gonna be a time when <laughs> a time for you go. But mm. you see, when another time mm. for you go, you cannot go because when you go before the Holy Ghost, you're going to be in trouble. And so a lot of us yeah. die prematurely. Somebody the gift not come to Luke. fruition. Luke because 22. guess what? Luke we chapter run 22. ahead of God. Mm -hmm. And so before you know it, we 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 in a we are under bed rest. <laughs> can't go nowhere, can't function. Duck. And guess what? It's the grace of God. Amen. Keep us, keep some of us. I can tell you tonight, it's the grace of God why I am here sitting tonight and me can testify and tell or not. Because what? Did I wait? No. You go under some people, you go into some ministry, and let me tell you something, they suppress the gifting. So we have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have to oh, yeah. ask the Holy Spirit to give us discernment to discern. My sisters and brothers, do not go ahead of your time. Wait. Because trust me, God placed something in that servant, in the pastor, in that person where you need. Yeah. Yeah. And Very the devil true. know. The devil know when we're ready or not, you know. He know. He, he, yeah, he, the devil can't. The only thing the devil is not able to do is put bread inside bread. of man. Thank you. But the devil he knows know. everything and he can do. The devil can even answer your prayers. All so right. you have to be careful what you move to. Your, 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 your gates, you got to protect it. You have to guard your gates. Huh. And your gates, people of God, let me tell you, your gates. Because, you know, Pastor, a lot of us think eh, we only get is with eye and we ear. Oh, we no. and we ears. Your mm -hmm. gates, are your ears, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, and mm -hmm. believe it or not, your navel. Is Any open. place that is open. That is a gear. The devil can use to enter. So, and I do the eye and the ears, but I see all the nose. Hey. Is a gate. And we have to guard all of them. You have to keep yourself, somebody used to say, you have to keep yourself circumspect. <laughs> you have to keep yourself circumspect. You have to be, keep yourself in order. In order. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we have to be very careful, especially in this time. No move ahead of your time. We get up on God. We have to, because I'm telling you, you think you never know what God is about to do upon this earth? Mm -hmm. God is about to, let me tell you something, a revival will come. 
Mm. But just like oh, when we read in Genesis, when God tell him, say, you see you? You see, because of what you do and you deceive me people, them, this is what I go do. My son, oh, I go yeah. up and him I go bruise you. Yeah. So here yeah, when start to do. From that day, him try to kill all of the seed. For Jesus not come. Amen. So just Amen. imagine you and I now. Right? Where God has a, 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 a hide. God, God I know for we know. Amen. And we are trying to push ourselves up. <laughs> and God I hide you. And you still are trying to force yourself out. But it God well. knows that it is not the time for you to come out. You have to stay in hiding. Because you see, when you come out, he knows that this is the time for you. Amen. No demon in hell can stop it. Jesus. But you see, when we come out before with time, my God. Oh my God. And only the grace and the mercy of God can keep enough away. So may I plead to my brothers and sisters tonight. Now come out before your time. Wait, Wait on the Lord. God. Wait on the Lord because Eve. Maybe that's why Cain have so much authority at the time what he did because he get that special treatment. Because because of the mother. His mom thought that he was the he chosen was the one. Yeah. So he he he, he got wicked, and then he behavior to God was like, I'm not my brother's keeper. He, so exactly. he didn't have any remorse. And I, I, yeah, I think that's what it was. It, the, based on the way he was raised, his mom spoiled him because some women tend to give special treatment. To some kids. <laughs> and don't we do it even today? Oh, yeah. We do it today. So we know better than Eve. No. Mm -mm. Remember, sin enter. Remember, mm. the, remember once the bit when the baby in the is inside of the womb, that baby, nothing, everything, baby, all right. But once mm -hmm. that baby come, come out, mm -hmm. it's born in a yeah. sin. Mm -hmm. Sin mm -hmm. enter. Mm -hmm. Sin right there, a weird pan in pan in delivery bed. Mm. <laughs> it is well. But we have to thank God for His grace and His mercy mm -hmm. and Amen. His love. Amen. 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 So, to God be the glory, my sisters and brothers. We are still in the book of Genesis. And if we read the book of Genesis, you get so much revelations out of it. The Holy Spirit open up your understanding and make you understand, say, this will happen from, from Genesis. It is happening today. Yeah. Because if you're looking at yourself, you're looking at your life, looking at your house, looking at your family, you see it? Yes. It's right there. Yes. It is right there in front of us. But mm. all we have to do is repent. Amen. Repent. Acknowledge. Say, yes, your sin. <laughs> because that is the next thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you know you're doing thing, but you know what? Uh, say yes. You know, it is so funny, Pastor, because the other night I was at work and, you know, we was, we closed up. And so me and this other lady, you know, we, we work in the kitchen and stuff. And she said, she get up and when she come back, she go back and she go with two drinks. And she give me one and she take one. Right? So, you know, me tell her, say, when me come home. Me have a drink some my foot in a man and he right me me couldn't <laughs> me couldn't me couldn't drink a drink me go me go back and work me say listen to me me know you think me can't drink tea if you drink <laughs> me can't drink tea if you drink 
Big D Fiji's. Miss Abby, I'm a beer feed. Conviction. Pastor, let me tell you something. I had to go and get water. Couldn't drink it. I go back and I say to her, I say, I say, say yeah, thing again. I, I, I had a similar experience. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was um, doing something for my daughter. <laughs> and I went with the intention to get stuff. <laughs> I couldn't touch nothing. <laughs> Holy Spirit said, don't. So I called her and I said, you know, I had an intention of taking a few. She said, but mommy, you could have taken anything. I said, Holy Spirit, I can't touch nothing. I have to close the thing back. I couldn't not. Yep. Yep. You know, I just, people of God, I wanted to just remember my family in prayer. I went to Jamaica last month. Today is the seventh of, um, December, um, December, mm -hmm. and the seventh, seventh of November, we had baptism. I think that's the day my son got baptized, and a few more people mm -hmm. from the church got baptized. And what? right before I was getting ready to leave, I went to the tax office because we're looking, we're trying to sort out the people for the church in Jamaica as well. Mm -hmm. So I went to the tax office and um. I saw a young lady who I, I wasn't sure if it was her. And I turned around, when she turned around, I realized it's my daughter's aunt. So we had a conversation. And she told me that my daughter's father died two years ago. But the reason why I'm bringing it up is this is what the Lord touched my heart to do. So I'm being obedient. I'm bringing it up because I always ask for prayers for my daughter because she's sick in England. And when she told me that her brother died, it was the same problem my daughter have in England. And um, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't feel it. I felt it. It mm -hmm. shook me up a little bit. Because this is like a day or two before I left Jamaica. And it's heavy on my heart. It's heavy on my heart. It's still heavy on my heart. He died two years ago. But what, what happened to him is not what made me feel the way I'm feeling. I, I, can't even, I can't even find the right words to explain what I'm really feeling. Because all this time we did not know that. This was something from the from his bloodline, bloodline. that happens to my daughter. And so, mm -hmm. you know, remember her in prayer. Amen. Remember her in prayer. Because it's heavy. And the reason I'm saying it's heavy for years, I've been praying in secret. And it was last year, I think, I came out to ask for prayer for my daughter. She has been sick for years. And, and there are some things that you have to ask for help, help. with. Amen. Right. So now I found out the source of, it. of the problem, mm -hmm. where it derived from. No, you know how to pray. No, I have the prayer point. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, God allow us to pray, but if we are not sending the right, sending the prayers in the right direction, direction. we are only wasting Prayer. time. Yeah, we are only wasting time. True. And it and the situation is, it needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm. And so when I found out, really. I did not know this man was sick. I did not know. You know, people just look good. So I'm just saying this to say that, ladies, especially single women, young women, 
Don't just date a man because he's tall and look good. No, don't do it. Sure. Many men are sick. And you don't know. Physically sick and spiritually sick. Mm -hmm. And we chase them down. Because they look good. But I say this here tonight. The man was very handsome. Tall and brown and slim. We went to school together. Wow. He was the first man. Ooh. And he gave me the first child. But I did not know all of this. The man know that the man is dead. We never communicate. Because I was a girl. I was I had my daughter when I was 15. But I'm just saying this to say that. Check people medical background. Not just their financial background. <laughs> don't, don't only figure out how much money is in the family. Oh figure out what kind of sickness and disease in the family runs in the bloodline. Because you can give birth to a child with that thing. And tonight I'm just, I beseech you by the mercies of God when you pray, remember my daughter and her daughter in prayer. My daughter and granddaughter. Because now I just found out where her medical condition come from. Mm. Her dad died from it. Mm -mm -mm. And when I when I got the news, I understand that he died on the the, 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 the Wednesday and when his mother heard about it the Saturday she died so they both died in the same week and I think this happened during COVID because if it's two years ago it was right in the midst of COVID where people did not even focus on who did and what killed them they just yeah. thought people died because mm -hmm. people were just dying two years ago like foolishness yeah you know so Mm. I, I don't think that man was saved but I know his mother was a pastor my daughter's grandmother was a pastor but I don't know if the guy was saved because I've not seen that man maybe over 15, 20 years it's true never seen him since I st started traveling but I'm, I, I'm just saying this tonight as the Lord touched my heart I've been back from Jamaica from the 16th of November and the Lord just touched my heart to mention it tonight. Mm. So please, you know, <laughs> don't just get involved because of the looks. Okay? People sick and it's hereditary. It's in their bloodline. It's in their genes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, as you was talking <clears throat> about it, it just bring me right back to what we were talking about. Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. See? Now we see mm -hmm. where Cain. Now we see where Cain get all of that from. The full blown. Mm, my God. And as you say, the, 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 the father died, the mother died. Father died yeah. and the mother died the same week because she heard. It carried me right back to Eli. When mm. Eli here because my daughter don't look like her father. She look like her grandmother, his mother. She looked just like him, like, like his mom. The same facial features. They look like twins. Mm-hmm. Mm Remember when Eli heard that his son died, you know? That's how Eli died. He fell over, broke his neck. Mm, and died. And that was her first child. My God. So, <laughs> we are praying that the Lord would sustain my daughter and her daughter. Amen. Amen. Because she's in a country where the medical system is all right. I'm just going to use the word all right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it will be well. Amen. I don't know why the Lord touched my heart to really say this. 
because I'm, when it comes to stuff like this, I'm private, but I have to be obedient to God. You know, sometimes there comes a time when we can't be silent. And when you see mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit laid on your heart like this, to so talk heavy, about it. somebody needed to hear this tonight. Somebody need to hear it. And also, it is time for this to be done with. To be put to an end. So, so you know, it has to come to, to light. You know, because, mm. you know, sometimes it's like we not say nothing. But then God say, no, no, you I have to, to talk say something. about it. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Because the devil thinks that we and him are keep secret. Exactly. But we and him exactly. not keep no secret. Because then he say, hold up your finger. Only two people know. But when you hold up your two finger, I know two people know I live him. Amen. Amen and amen. People know. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. And amen. so, you know, while I was getting ready, um, my son, Noah, because I have two sons. What a name? Noah. And he came in the bathroom and he said, Mom. And I said, Yes. And he said, You know, he has two best friends. They grew up Together. going to school, everything. And so when when we move, that was one of the things why he gets so antsy and gets so angry because rebellious. He, and rebellious because he said that I As a move. Away from his friends. And him and his two friends, they planned that they were going to college and which college them ago and everything it was the two of them. So, you know, they would come and they would come and they visit me. Hi, hi, Miss Julie, you know, and that's all. And when I tell you these two young boys, respectable, manageable, them. So, you know, um, from time to time when he's on the phone, one of them, he would say, uh, Hi, Miss Jillian, how are you? You know, and I would ask him, how is he doing and stuff? And he came and he said, Mom, you know Martin, Mom, die. I said, Whoa. Pastor, yeah. it's like a heavy weight does drop on me, so boop. I said, what? I said, my God. His friend, mother, died. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is a young woman. Mm -hmm. But I remember, mm -hmm. he is just 18. So, you mm -hmm. know, I tell you, I was, it's like I was in her 30s or our, our 40s. I was just frozen for a while. It's mm -hmm. like nothing could have come from me. And he's like, I say, my God. And I said to him, I said, what happened? And he said, she had cancer. I said, wow. And she died yesterday. I tell you, I was in, it's like I, 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 I wanted to pray, but nothing can come from my mouth. I was just there and I was like, my God, tears just start following me. I, you know, and I was just praying for this young boy. Because I know say, he loves his mother. You know? It is so sad. But you know the part where sad is when people die. And we're not sure where they're gone. And like I said, I know her grandmother was a pastor. But I don't know if the father is saved. But my main concern is what killed him. And what killed him is what my daughter is suffering with. Yes. So I am. Um, it's like some light was shed on the situation. So now you know how to pray. I'm telling you. So, you know, it's like 
I was standing there and then I started to say, Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. I say, God, forgive us because here we are yeah. planning, celebrating, celebrating a way for Christmas come. And, you know, I force yourself, but hear people a cry, mourning, you know, because they lost somebody where they love. So we need to get close and draw closer to God because in the midst of life, there is death. Yeah. There is Amen. Death. Amen. Amen. God is very funny. So we just have to thank him for what he's doing and the way he's doing it. Yeah. If I did not go into the tax office, I would not see this young woman because I've not seen her in maybe over 20 years as well. I wasn't even sure that was her because, you know, she don't look the same. She, you know, people get older and she didn't even know who I was because I was not this big. I was always a smaller person. So, yeah, but the voice didn't change. Thank God for this uncommon voice ah. anytime people hear me from afar they know i'm in i'm in the room because nobody don't sound like me no, nobody don't sound like me <laughs> nobody don't sound like me so i thank god for the way he make me i don't have to Are pretend me? to sound like someone else because what god did he make my voice to, oh to, my to be distinguished among other voices yeah Pastor, let me tell you, me with my ex, oh, up self, <laughs> went and asked the Holy Spirit about me. Listen, you pastor, it's when I just got saved. You I used to sound to, like other people. I used to be so inquisitive. When I say inquisitive, I would ask the Holy Spirit everything. Everything I would go, I would say, why this? Why that? Why this? Why that? So me go go ask him, me say, I don't know why you have to give me this advice. You couldn't give me something softer. <laughs> and then I oh, me put it up. Me say, people can sit down right beside me and they can hold a conversation and me not hear them. And as soon as me open up my mouth, everybody hear my conversation and they can whisper. Mm -hmm. Why you couldn't give me one whisper advice? Maybe mm -hmm. can whisper I like can't everybody. whisper. I can't whisper. Pastor? And the Holy Spirit don't answer. Until one day, I was sitting by my lonely self. And the Holy Spirit come and say, you asked me a question the other day. You ready for the answer? And I said, yes, Lord. <laughs> Let me tell you. The Holy Spirit said, I never called her to be um, one of them where you can't hear their voice. He said, you see this voice that I give you? You don't need a microphone. Let me tell you, I could have said, yes, Lord. <laughs> Amen. Oh, forgive me. <laughs> Amen. It is well. Yeah. I asked the Lord to reveal an individual to me, a man, about a year ago. And when I went to the, I didn't pray. I said, God, reveal this man to me. You know, the Holy Spirit said to me, you really want to know this man? Are you ready? Wow. And I said, yes. Anything you say. Holy Spirit said, you're not ready. You are not ready. <laughs> you're not. The word is you're not prepared. Wow. So I leave it alone. I leave it alone. And the Holy Spirit didn't say anything else. So many times we are really asking God to reveal things to us that we are not in any way, shape, or shape form um, to deal with. It's true. Because what God will show us, it will drive us mad. It's true. You know, a lot of times too, Pastor, we say, oh, Lord, open up my eyes and let me see. Hey, you really want to see? <laughs> no, no, no. We need to just say, Lord, you know what? 
what whatever you want me to see you let me see <laughs> whatever you want to show me but, but we no gonna tell god open up me eye, god let me see this time let me see god say you know what i see it yeah i'm just thankful that um make he, he said we are fearfully and wonderfully made but this voice mm -mm, this voice ah, that he gave me, like <laughs> nobody guy, nobody pastor. cannot copy this no. voice nobody Wanna cannot imitate this voice even no. if he's a man <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, you know what's the what's the what's the thing? But you know now when they do it, I correct them. I correct them when they say, "Oh, ah, oh, I'm on the phone, talk to our representative," and they say, "Oh, Mister," I said, mm. when they don't talk, I, I say, stop. I don't do it way, anymore. They act I from say, beginning. Okay, sir, people call me sir. You see, I like, really. say, by the way, I don't get up. It's not a him. him. It's a they say, oh, we are so sorry. Because you sound like a man. <laughs> oh, and, we are so you know, sorry. It's something to do with your vocal cord. We are so God knows everything. God knows everything, man. Yeah, you God don't make no everything. sense. You try to soften it up. You just have to just leave it like Sometimes, it is. Sometimes, you know, people be thinking that I'm sleeping. Oh, Pastor Michael, I asked you. I said, I'm not sleeping. I'm sitting not down. Sleeping. He said, you know your sound. So he said, that's all. That's your voice. <laughs> That's your unique voice when God gave you. <laughs> Listen, me, there was a time, Pastor, where I hated my voice. But to see when the Holy Spirit fix my business, me, me love my voice. Mm-hmm. It builds up my height. Right. <laughs> I went somewhere. I don't remember where I went. And there was a lady, and I, I don't remember what I was there for, but then when they, I know it's a woman because the only woman go where I went at the time. And when the woman opened her mouth and talked, I had to look around. I'm like, Jesus, God make people special. Oh, and, yeah. and he just put them all over the world and we just have to thank God for them. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's how I sound to people as well when I speak. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, okay, God. Yep. I don't yep. know if it was a nail shop. I don't remember where I went. But I just thank God for everything. Yep. It is well. Amen. And I know I, I, I said this because God wanted me to share this tonight. So if you are watching and you're single and you're about to get into a relationship, please seek out the man background, the medical background, mm -hmm. what runs in the family. Please, please, please. I'm, 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 I'm tired of seeing young men and young women died from things that we could pray about, but we did not know it was there. Because some people hide their sickness. Mm -hmm. some, Jesus. I don't know why. Holy Spirit, take over, Minister Julian. Let us wrap up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To God be all the glory, the honor, and the praise. So we have come to the end of our Bible study for tonight. Children of God, people of God, saints. Brothers and sisters, kingdom people, hear ye the word. Don't let it fall on deaf ears tonight. Because, you know, sometimes, because we know wait on God and we know want to wait because, you know, some of us say God take too long. And because of that, we go ahead of God. And we go pick up crosses. Yes, crosses. Mm -hmm. Because just like you said earlier, Pastor, when we pray, is either God go answer or the devil himself go answer? Yeah. You understand? And the devil 
is a carbon copy. Him always a try to do something just like God. Hmm. But it is not God. We want gifts, and he will give us gifts. But it come with a price. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. the Bible tells us that the blessing of the Lord that make, make it, it rich, rich. It not yeah, come yeah, with son. no sorrow. Yeah. It not come with no pain. It not come with no problem. So you see, when you see your, your have and your get, and it a cause problem, start question, God, did this really come from you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something for the single women and the single men like even myself, yeah? You see, we still don't gonna say, God, me want a husband or me want a wife. Let me tell you something. The devil first I gotta present something looking good in her clothes. Amen. And if you not careful <laughs> and go to God in a prayer and fasting, you take it devil in your own self. Devil Amen. in disguise. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, some people end up married sick people, married to sick people. You wonder what is the uh, what kind of demon this? And are you take it up because and you're impatient you and don't want to wait on the Lord. And you know the thing is you can't blame God because mm -hmm. you did not yeah. wait. You never trust him. Mm -hmm. So you go and you go you go pick up your own baggage. Yeah. Yeah. And true. so now you have to keep your own baggage. True. It's not easy. So, so you see tonight, let us wait. Wait on the Lord and be a You know, I remember last year I say, I say, I say, no, I say well. 2023 come, me know me I get married. Yes, sir. That's me. And that's wishful thinking. And that's what I, you hear me say, I wanted, I would want. Mm -hmm. But you think, mm -hmm. if that, let me tell you, if that was the plan of God, nothing can stop, stop it. it. So God has said, you are said that, but that's not it. Wait a little. Mm. Can you see some of us? God has to fix we up in there? Yep. He must be prune off and take off the dead skin. We're not yeah, in alignment. Some of us you, are not you, in alignment. You're not in alignment. He must be fix you up. And Polish sometimes it's because of disobedience, some people not going to get what yeah. they desire from God because what God have for them, that's not what they ask. That's what that's not what they are looking for. for. And so them no move when God bring even when God presents some people before somehow we don't want it. Because in our mind we want something like what we cousin have, what we auntie have, what we, what we sister have, you know, mm -hmm. we want something like what somebody else have. We don't want what God has for us. So that's why a lot of people are still single. And it's because true. God doesn't bring nobody to them, they don't want what God has for them. It's true. So we have to wait because a lot of us have some pruning, some whole baggage, some whole something we carry around with. Mm -hmm. and move it's true. Them because guess what? You got carry it in a relationship, go cause problem. Some people don't forgive anybody for what happened in their past. So God is not going to send anyone to them because whosoever come need work on. So yeah. God wants us to learn to forgive, to forgive, to forgive. So when him send women sent to us, we will be able to deal with it. Because, yes, because this person is not perfect that's coming. Because if you're over 45 and you're single, it means that you feel some relationship or some marriage. Oh, and you yes. wait for God for second or third. Third. Chance. Oh, Lord. Speaking <laughs> and about that, I'm like, 
at the state. It's and true. therefore, it's true. And therefore, many of us, we don't want to forgive anybody. And we're not perfect. We're not virgin. But we Amen. want people to come. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so it sounds like a hypocrite, but it's, it's true. true. You're, it's not, true you're not virgin and you're not perfect, but you're looking for perfection in the third chance that God has for you. Maybe you're married two or three times already. I'm saying it because it's true. Maybe you're married twice already. Maybe you're never married yet because you don't want to listen. You want weak people to pry on to make yourself look good. Yeah. And God is not playing that game with you. So it's, it's a lot of reason why some people are still single. And mm. because God no come true for them. God it's came true, true but they're not ready. They're not prepared. Or they, they, they refuse to, to be mm. obedient. They refuse to forgive. They refuse to let some stuff go. So they're not going to get married. Yeah. It's true. And I can say, me, for me, no, no pastor when I sit back and I look back and sit, me say, God, you know, because me not ready. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? Me go carry all baggage. But I knew, and the Bible tell you, say, you can't mix it too. It is well. And it's the truth. It's a lot of reasons why some people end up married the wrong person too. Because they shame. Everybody are married and them not married, so then just grab somebody. You know? Me guilty. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Just like when you used to young eye in at the dance and night come and it get late. Everybody couple up and you see one look I'm half mad man walking. You go grab him because you don't know, want to look out like other. You want somebody to wake up in the morning with a mad mad man next to you. A mad man. Oh God. Am I lying? Is the truth though? You know how much people go home with mad people? Sick people. Deaf man, man deaf, woman deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Serious medical issue. Why? Well, because they dress nice and people look good at night, especially in clubs and hey. party. They look extremely good because they have a special glow when they go under certain light. Mm -hmm. So they look different. <laughs> <laughs> My God. But we pray that God do something for us. It's the end of the year. And yes. El Shaddai is being blessed. Amen. If God can give us new place to worship and have new people for us to meet. So and he's still providing. So I pray that you be a part of what God is doing in the ministry. Amen. 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 Go ahead, Minister Julie. I'm finished. Amen. To God be all the glory, the honor, and the praise. We give God thanks for each and every one that is online tonight. We pray that the word bless you. We pray that something was said and, uh, you know, it did something for you. Change. You, you know, you're looking at yourself and say, you know, that's me. I was like that. But to God be the glory. We thank God for the word tonight because of the word. No, me know say something did really happen and wrong with me. So no, God, me need changes. Amen. We have to be truthful. We have to be real. You understand? And we have to repent. Yeah. We can't hide and act as if. No. If you know, say, yeah, you're a troublemaker, you're a troublemaker. Yeah. And you know what to say, God, help me. You know, one time gone, somebody called me a name. I would say, oh, God, they say me so. But you know what I started doing? If you say something, I'm going to say, Lord, this person say, I am this. Please help me. Amen. Help me because only you alone can help. Amen. Only you alone can deliver me from this thing. 
Because a lot of us, we are walking around with baggages. Hmm. And we don't want to let them go. And yet we want God to bless us with and somebody we new. And we don't we not fix. We don't get sought out. It's true. So we have to ask God. We have to ask the Holy Spirit. Help us. Deliver us. You know, you have some 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 <laughs> save Christian. You can't tell them so they need deliverance. Ah, that is if why. you ever say they need deliverance, trust me, then paint your blue and black. Because mm -hmm. them no need no deliverance. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, there are a lot of us. And how you can tell? You see little traits. Mm -hmm. You see little, little things. And mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit himself will tell you, this is something. And bring you back. Bring you back because the word of God tells us that he will bring you back. Do you remember? Your memory, right? And you see some things were happening in, your, in, in some years ago. Some things when save you from. And you know, there was a time, Pastor, before me understand when the Holy Spirit will bring back some stuff that happened years ago. Yeah. And you would have things say, oh, you know, it's something just to talk and laugh about. But really and truly, he's saying it's for you to repent. I don't feel mm -hmm. laugh and talk about it no more, but I feel repent Amen. of that thing. So I'm telling you tonight, my sisters and brothers, when the Holy Spirit dig up some something, I don't feel laugh and talk about it and say, boy, I'm mean, tell you, say, but then you know, hey, if you trouble me, you no, know, no, no, he's saying repent from your, your sinful ways, repent. Amen. Amen. So we give God thanks and praise tonight. We thank God and we thank God for you, Pastor. Amen. We thank God and we pray that the Lord will continue to do shower down upon you, does continue to pour upon you, bless you. We are prayer blessings from the east, the west, the north, and the south. We are pray and we are tell the north to give up. We are telling mm. the South to bring back everything we take from mm. both you and your family. We are pray that God will just come and just do so with a fresh, fresh wind, fresh fire, fresh oil. In the name of Jesus, we pray for blood coverage over your life and your family. We pray that the blessing of the Lord that make it rich and add no sorrow to it will be your portion in the name of Jesus. We pray that whatever you put your hands to, it will be fruitful, it will be blessed, it will multiply in the name of Jesus. We pray that in this time and in this season, that when you open up your mouth wide, that the Holy Spirit will fill it up and you begin to speak the oracles of god like never before in the name of jesus we pray that when you open up your mouth it will not be you speaking but the holy spirit himself in the name of jesus we pray that you and the holy ghost will become one in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we plead the blood of jesus over your home tonight we plead the blood of jesus over your vehicle tonight. We plead the blood tonight over everything that concerns you. We plead the blood over 60 Ferris Street even now. We assign warring angels to stand guard with their sword drawn right now. Warring for both you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And no weapon that is formed or fashioned against you and your family shall not prosper. And every lying tongue that rise up against you in judgment must be condemned in the mighty name of Jesus let God arise tonight and every wicked enemy scatter scatter them God from the east the west, 
the north and the south in the mighty name of Jesus tonight. Mighty God tonight, plea or cause, God. Strive with them that strive against your woman servant. Fight against them that fight against her and her family, God. In the mighty name of Jesus tonight, God, you said, Oh God, if she take the wings of the morning that you are dear, God. You said if she make her bed in hell, you are dear, God. So Father, tonight surround her like a shield and build a wall of fire around her and her family tonight, God. You said, yea, though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Mighty God, let her stand firm in you, mighty God. Let her not look to the left nor to the right, but a Keep her eyes steadfast in you, mighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let her run through her troops tonight. Let her leap over every eye walls, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus tonight. Father, we plead the blood tonight. In the name of Jesus, cover her mind, God. Let her mind stay in you tonight, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you say put on the old armor to withstand the wiles of the devil on the evil days. Mighty God girt her lines with a belt of two tonight. God Almighty even her feet. My God shed her feet tonight. Oh God with the gospel of peace. My God the Bible said oh beautiful are the feet of them who oh, bring forth the gospel. Mighty God beautify her feet God that when she bring forth the gospel Father in the name of Jesus Lord God cover her head with the helmet of salvation the sword of the spirit which is your word God when she open up your mouth let your word begin to flow God my God the Bible tell us that oh God the word that word have I hid in my heart so that I may not sin against you Lord God let her hide your word so that she will not sin against your father in the mighty name of Jesus the shield of faith oh God you said if we have faith of a mustard seed we can speak to our mountains and tell our mountains to back up back up in the sea back up in the name of Jesus my God tonight you say we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers rulers of darkness spiritual wickedness in high places, mighty God tonight, shut them down, God, null and void, cancel them, mighty God, annihilate them, evict them tonight, out of our borders and our territories, out of her home, God, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, surround her like a shield, God. The Bible said, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in Psalm 91 verse 1, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide, hide her under your wings tonight, God, and give your angels charge over her life and her destiny in the name of Jesus. You said a thousand may fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come night her dwelling place in the name of Jesus father we pray tonight God strengthen your servant tonight God in the name of Jesus breathe upon her mighty God in the name hey ha ah, Jesus have your way tonight Holy Ghost father we pray tonight for your people El Shaddai prayer to our members God, remember the ministers. Father, we pray that tonight, God, that you supply every need. Come through tonight, Jesus. The needs not have to be food alone. The needs not have to be clothes. They not have to be housing. My God, they not have to be care. But God Almighty, every need. Show up tonight, Jesus. Deliver them, God. Deliver them from everything that they struggle with. In the mighty name of Jesus tonight. My God, every carnality. Deliver tonight, God. And set your people free. Fix your people tonight, God. 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, remember our children. Remember our families. My God, tonight, Father, anything out of order, anything out of place, fix it tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. Hey, mighty God. Lord, only you alone can do it, Jesus. We try and we try and we try everything but it feel. But tonight, God, we are praying and we are asking that you come through, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, remember those that are mourning tonight, God. Father, heal the sick, the broken heart tonight. Set the captives free. Deliver your people tonight. Pull them out of everything where them get themselves in, oh God. In the name of Jesus tonight. Father, we pray that tonight that you touch the hearts of stone and give your people hearts of flesh, God, to turn in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. My God, set your people free, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray tonight for those on the live, those we never have an encounter. Father, we pray that tonight, Holy Ghost, they will have an encounter in the name of Jesus. Lord, those that doubted you, we pray that after tonight, God, every doubts are settled in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. My God, show up tonight, Father. Show up for your people. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, we give you glory. We give you honor and praise, God. Lord, give us a hunger and a thirst for your word, God. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, touch us from the inside out. In the name of Jesus. You said, out of our bellies shall flow rivers of living water. Mighty God, let us wait upon your God. Let us not run ahead of you in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. We give you thanks and praise. And we thank you for what you're doing in this ministry. And for what you're about to do, God. And for what you're still doing. In Jesus' mighty and precious name. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we just want to thank you for tonight. We just want to thank you for your word. We just want to thank you for what you're doing in our midst. As we are in the last month of the year, mighty God. Yes, we God. Pray that none of your children will ever lack. Tonight we declare the beatitudes of Jesus Christ yes, upon the God. ministry and the people. We declare Matthew chapter 5 in the name of Jesus Christ upon this ministry tonight. Yes, we Lord. Decree and we declare it done. And the Bible reminds us that mm. we should remember the poor because the word of God asks us that they are blessed, the poor. Blessed mm -hmm. are the poor in spirit, spirit, for there is the kingdom of God. And the Bible reminds us that blessed are they that mourn. Hallelujah. For mm. they shall be comforted oh jesus amen blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted lord tonight we ask you to comfort your people yes god comfort your people comfort your people blessed are the meek for mm. they shall inherit the yeah. earth. So God, as we ask you tonight, oh God, to let your people be meek. Yes, Give God. them the spirit of meekness. Yes, in God. the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The word uh, of God remind us, it says, blessed are they that 
hunger and thirst after you because they shall be filled. filled. Amen. Mm. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. You said, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And tonight, Lord God, those who are in need of mercy, we ask you, oh mercy, God, to be Lord. merciful to them tonight. Yes, God. Mercy, mercy. Give us the strength to show mercy. The word said, blessed are the merciful, well, for they shall obtain mercy. And so tonight, Daddy Jesus, we are asking you. Mercy, Lord. Show us mercy. Yes, God. As we are entering the end of the year, we come before you and we oh, ask you, Lord God, to put peacemakers among us and not war among us. Yes, God. The word said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. So tonight, Daddy, we are asking you, to put some peace mongers in our midst. We bind up the spirit of war mongers. Yes. We come against the flesh that will arise in this season among us. God. We put it under subjection in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, of Nazareth. Yes, the word reminds us, it said, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Oh God, you said, We, oh God, you will give us the beatitudes and we are humble. Yes, God. And tonight we declare. He said, Blessed are ye when men shall revive you Do and persecute and you. Persecute you. And, shall and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. Oh Lord, we ask you tonight to give us strength when they come up against us with false yes, accusation. God. Jesus. Mm. When they come after us with false accusation tonight, yes. we ask you to raise up a standard. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. You said they will come up against us falsely for your sake. Mm. But we should rejoice and be glad. Yes. For great is your reward mm, mm, mm. for great is your reward in heaven in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you tonight mm. that we ask you to bless us with the beatitudes yes lord give us humility give us strength Name of Jesus. Oh God, give us strength to stand up for your word and to stand up for Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. And let your will be done in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, tonight I place your woman servant before you with her family and her household and whatever challenges they are facing in this time. And yes. Lord, I ask you to give them peace and give them rest. Yes, God. Let it be well with them. That which they thought was hard, mighty God, I ask you to bring that hill low. Yes. God. Every mountain that is standing before them. Jesus. Bring it low tonight. Yes. God. Every strong man that is standing before them. Mm. Crush them tonight by the blood. Lord. We bind the strong man tonight. The so they can get to restore their goods that was taken from them. Yes. God. In the name of Jesus Christ yes. of Nazareth. Yes. Lord, have your way. Mr. Jolene, while you were praying, it's like I was in a place where it was surrounded by four walls. Mm. And while you're praying, it's like you're standing on the wall and I see people falling. Mm. While you're praying, I see the prayers are taking out some people. It's like you have a big, big, whatever you call a big, weapon in your hand it was taking them down from mm. around the four walls of the place that I was standing I was alone and you were standing on the wall but while you're praying in the realms of the spirit that's what the Holy Spirit revealed to me you were taking out some people with the prayers mm. God is taking you higher God, be the God is taking you higher because of humility. Jesus. God is taking you higher 
He said, whatever you have gone through, it's what give it, gave you the zeal that you have for him. But don't get too comfortable. Continue to fight the battle in prayer. Amen. He said, don't put down your guard. Continue to shoot. You're not going to miss. I declare this word upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Even people in the church in El Shaddai, while you were praying, I see them going down. <laughs> Lord Jesus. While you're praying, I say, Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Lord, have your way. You never make a mistake. Have your way, Holy Spirit, and let your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You're praying. I'm sitting here, but I'm not here. And this is why the Holy Spirit said I should pray about the Beatitudes. Amen. Whatever was promised to us, whatever God said belonged to us, Matthew chapter 5. Yes. It will be our portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and we declare it done. Yes, Lord. I don't know what's going on in this spirit. But while you were praying, the Lord began to show me some people and bullets were hitting them. But it is done. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It is well. Amen. People of God, if the Lord told her to be a blessing to the ministry, go Amen. ahead and do so. The number is 860-634-8557. If the Lord touch your heart to sow in the life of your children, or to sow in your marital problems, or to sow in your own ministry. You can use Zelle, PayPal, or Cash App. Or you can write a check in the name of El Shaddai. That's the name of the ministry. And that's our government name. Amen? Amen. It will be well. Now, I'm thankful to God for his goodness and his mercies. Amen. God is faithful. You see, we cannot buy out God, but we can be a blessing to him. Amen. So allow the Lord to use it to be a blessing. We are building our church and we need windows, doors, and floor. This is exactly what we need before they can paint it. Yeah. They already prime it. But in order for them to go further, they have to put in the door, the windows, and the floor. No amount is too small or too large. We are looking forward for your help and your contribution. Amen. Be blessed of the Lord and stay blessed. May the Lord continue to bless you. And as I raise my hand... It is my prayer that those who will give to the ministry for the Lord to multiply it and give it back to you. First down, shaking I together. pray that the Lord touch the heart of the ones yes, God. that you want to give. Don't just give to the ministry because you feel pressured. Give because you're giving from a willing heart. Amen. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we pray that the Lord touch your heart tonight so you can be blessed. Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love, the love of God, God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. amen. And surely, goodness. goodness and mercy shall follow us. All, all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and, and ever. Amen. Amen.
God bless you all and good night. Minister Janine, God bless you. Continue to do the work of him that sent you. Amen. God bless you. God bless.